In many parts, you cannot get marijuana for your MS or your nausea chemotherapy because it's a banned drug, right? In many places, go to a pain doctor, pain doctors who are afraid to prescribe adequate, adequate pain medications because who knows what the law enforcement looking over the shoulder might say about who or why they're giving out these drugs. Then it's the people in, in the, the developing world, in Asia and Latin America, who are told, no, you cannot grow the cannabis or the coca or maybe opium, which has been growing in your part of the world for hundreds, if not thousands of years, because you're the ultimate source of the junkies in our country. And so they being deprived of their basic rights. So what you see is that the war on drugs and prohibition, it's not just about mass incarceration and arrest and all that. It's also about the ways in which we take the lives of ordinary drug users and make them more difficult, and all the other ways in which prohibitionist sentiments stands in the way of sensible health policy, medical policy, economic policy, environmental policy, and what have you.